What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. Moving on to the next question. This one's gonna be fairly tricky. It's pretty unique dealing with the midpoints. So if C is the midpoint of AB, D is the midpoint of AC, E is the midpoint of DC, and F is the midpoint of BC, and the length of EF is nine, what is the length of AB? So with a question like this, what I recommend doing is just starting from the beginning and then just drawing everything. So notice we're told that C is the midpoint of the line AB. So what I would recommend doing is first drawing, let's draw a fairly big line over here. So this is AB and we're told the midpoint of this line is C. So that's gonna be like, let's try to keep this to scale, maybe like right there, let's say, right? So this here is gonna be the point C. And then going further, we're told D is the midpoint of AC. So now notice AC, this is the line we're looking at, and D is gonna be the midpoint of that. So that's gonna be like over here. And then we're told E, is the midpoint of DC. So now we're looking at this line and then the midpoint of that is gonna be E. And then we're told F is the midpoint of BC. So BC is over here or CB, right? And so the midpoint of that is F right there. Okay, then we're told that the length of EF, so from here to here, is 9. That's the length right there, 9 units. And they're asking what is the length of AB, so they're asking what is this length right there. Okay, so given this is 9, what's this length going to be? Now, there's multiple ways to do this. Notice that, first off, the length of AC is the same as the length of BC from here to here, right? Because C is the midpoint of AB. And so what that means is then we took AC and we split it up. That was the midpoint of AC. And then we took BC and split it up. That was the midpoint of BC right here. So if you think about it, this whole length, this is one fourth of it, this is one fourth of it, this is one fourth of it, and then that's one fourth of it, right? Four equal pieces. But then notice we went further into detail and then we took one of those fourths and split that up into two right, this and then this over here. Now, if we take one fourth of something and then split it up into two, that's like one over four times one over two, right? Dividing by two over one is like multiplying it by one over two, which would be one eighth. Okay, so this, these lengths here end up being like one eighth. And so what I would actually recommend doing is splitting everything up into these eighth pieces because that's the smallest unit we're looking at. So I'm gonna split this up over here and you could even add other letters. Let's add, um, let's just put X over here, right? So this here is gonna be an eighth. This is gonna be an eighth. And then over here between C and F, because this is a half, this is a fourth, so this here splits the fourth up into an eighth, and an eighth, we could let that be maybe Y. And then we could split this fourth up into an eighth, an eighth, two eighths as well. We could let that be Z. We didn't even have to put the letters, I just put them there just to kind of keep everything consistent. And so now notice that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight of the same lengths that we can look at. That was the lowest unit that we were looking at. So now let's go back to this. Well, notice that this length of nine here, it's composed of three of those lengths, of three of those eighths. So we can actually figure out what the length of one eighth of the entire thing is. And that's just gonna be this nine divided by three, right? Which is gonna give us three. So basically the length of all of these is three. Right, one, two, three, three plus three plus three gives us nine. And these are all the same length. So that means this is three, this is three, this is three, this is three, this is three. And so from there, we can find out what is the total length of AB gonna be? Well, it's just gonna be eight of those lengths of three, which is gonna be 24. All right, so personally, that's how I would do something like that. I would first draw out everything that's given, and then I would split everything up into the smallest units that you're looking at on this specific line. In this case, it was an eighth, but let's say we found a midpoint here, or let's say we found a midpoint here, then it would be a sixteenth that we'd be looking at, right? These would be sixteenths. Right, but the eighth was the smallest unit, so then I split up the whole line into those units, and then I look at the length that were given, how many of those units went into that nine, then I could find out what's the length of each of those individual units, and then I could take the length of each individual unit, multiply by the number of units in the line that we're looking at, and it could have been any line here that they asked for. In this case, they asked for AB, but maybe they could have asked for, let's say, AC or here, AY or AF, right? Could have been anything they asked for AB, the length of it is 24.